Hello everyone, let's start with third part of question number 2. So it says if the graph of the polynomial intersects the x-axis at exactly two points, it need not to be a quadratic polynomial. Now this is actually true. Now why true? Because in this case it says that we have a polynomial which intersects at exactly two points. So suppose the curve is like this. So it is not necessary that it is a quadratic polynomial. Why? I will tell you because in polynomial we could have real zeros and we could have imaginary zeros. You might not be clear with imaginary zeros relation because you haven't studied this. You will study it in your later classes. So here the polynomial could have real zeros as well as imaginary zeros. These things you will learn in higher classes, so I won't tell you now. So you must know that polynomial can have real zeros as well as imaginary zeros, that's all. So in this, it could be 2, it could be 1, so we can have 3 intersecting points. So it is not possible that if we have 2, x, two points at intersecting at x-axis, then we can say it quadratic. So this will be wrong to say. Why? Because it can be any other. It can be any other polynomial because you must remember that zeros could be in two form that is real number or imaginary zeros. So that's your answer for the third part.